In the last eight to 10 years, the automation advancements in the warehouse industry has been tremendous. And we want to be on the forefront of that. So whenever there's an opportunity for us to utilize that within our operations, we want to be able to be more efficient, be more cost conservative, and utilize that technology in order to make us the number one employee of choice. So the stretch system is made to be uh, deployed relatively quickly, low infrastructure, and so from the time stretch arrives in your facility until the time you're moving your first boxes is only a couple days. Stretch takes pictures of the boxes inside the container and the suction cups takes one box at a time and places it on the conveyor. It goes down the conveyor through our scan tunnels and into our system. Once we start it, it pretty much does all the work on its own. So Stretch is a pallet size footprint. That means anywhere in the warehouse you can take a pallet, you can take Stretch. It can move in omnidirection, so it can move left, right, forward, back, go in circles. It has an arm that has a six and a half foot extended reach for a 10 foot vertical reach. It can use that to reach all the different corners of the container. You know, it doesn't have any pre-trained information. What it's doing is detecting the boxes, modeling them, and the robot will actually go pick the box. The only amount of fixed infrastructure are these side panels here that collapse into the wall and allow uh, operators and workers to unload dock doors that you may not be using stretching at the moment. Even when a box drops when it's inside a container, it continues to take pictures of its current environment and makes some adjustments and picks that box up and continues to move forward. When the box falls, let me move back, look around, and then pick it up. I love it. <laughs> So like all products at Boston Dynamics, the robot's really easy to use. Use this uh, tablet here. So they would simply drive the robot into the container, load a couple parameters about the opening of the container into the tablet. Some of the stuff looks like PlayStation controllers. So they actually want to learn to use it. They picked it up very easy. I love it. I think Stretch has improved a whole lot. I really do. Stretch is also allowing us to reduce damages. There's less falls, less drops and it also allows us consistency. So whenever we have a launch and we get a truck that comes in late, we know that because of stretch, we have that consistent unload throughput rate and it allows us to get those units into our operation as quickly as possible. Throughput is one of the main things that, that we, you know, have a challenge with. I mean, holiday season, peak season, we're always, you know, busy, busy, busy. And during those times of year, it's more boxes in so we can get more boxes out. You know, stretch doesn't get tired. Stretch doesn't need breaks. Uh, so, you know, during our specific break times, you don't have to stop. You can continue to continue to do what you need to do. We can plan our day accordingly, so now we can deliver numbers to our customer better. And, you know, it's always reliable. It's always increasing our productivity, and therefore, we're meeting demands even more. DHL is interested in investing in robots and automation because of the accelerated digital program. Uh, we want to be the leading technology in the, in the marketplace. And with the labor force the way it has been in the past year due to the pandemic, we want to be proactive. The way the workforce is nowadays, uh, you need more people. And post-COVID, you're not getting as many people as you would through the door. So I love stretch. Like I said, it, it, my guys, it takes takes the, some of the some of the load off of my people. They're able to perform more. It just helps us overall as a business. Saves my people that are here working. When it's hot, it's hot. So when the people get exhausted, they, they can turn to the robots to unload. This is a very labor intensive operation. Uh, there's extreme temperatures as far as extreme heat, extreme cold, and also it's a big safety factor because with those extreme temperatures and then unloading boxes from certain heights that could be very heavy, it actually prevents safety injuries as well. Overall, I think Stretch has been very positive in the organization. It's almost like an extra man helping them out. We can do what we do, but now we got a little, little support. It actually brings an excitement to within the facility because people know that we're willing to invest not only in the organization, but our associates as well. That's why what now DHL is and will continue to be the employer of choice.